up, Marvel Legends fans and collectors? We've got the Iron Spider here from Marvel Legends Hasbro Wave of Spider-Man 60 Amazing Years. Um, yeah, I wasn't going to pick this one up, but um, upon its announcement, but seeing photos of this figure by some of the toy photographers out there in, in the uh, toy photographing community, um, very much sold me on this thing, so um, yeah, definitely had to pick it up. The artwork on the side's great. Um, you got the picture on the front there of the figure. You always just got to hope that um, everything's going to be in there. Um, but yeah, some of the poses you can get with this figure are just absolutely incredible. And you see up the hand, up top there, the accessories are two thwippy hands. And again, this is a case of, you know, I wish. Each Spider-Man came with like four sets of hands like that. The Amazing Fantasy one that I reviewed last week. Um, but at the same time, I guess, you know, having these extra appendages kind of makes up for the accessory side of things. Um, doesn't just make it just a standard Spider-Man. Um, but yeah, really excited about this one. Let's, uh, let's get it out and have a look. All right, here is Iron Spider in all his glory. What a fantastic looking figure. This thing is great. Um, yeah, you gotta be careful with the box because uh, the arms are uh, packed in a cardboard sort of sleeve behind the figure and I, I was almost concerned that, that um, they hadn't packed them in. Um, but yeah, don't, don't be too alarmed if that happens to you because um, yeah, I didn't spot them too afterwards. But that's cool. Um, yeah, the, the extra appendages, they sort of pop in the back using a peg system. Um, it's a good range of movement. I, I thought sort of each of these, um, sort of joints would have them, but there is the joint there. Um, there is the second one and the end one there or the second to last one there. Which, you know, you still get a pretty good range of movement out of it. That's, you know, pr still pretty good. Um, but in terms of, you know, the posability and the way you can get these to look. So many options. I've seen so many people do some great photo photographs of, you know, the legs actually holding up Spider-Man. I haven't attempted it yet myself, but I will. But yeah, in terms of like the red, oh, it's got like a... Almost like a pearlescent look to it. it looks nice. It's nice, nice looking paint. The gold's good. I think the sort of pearlescent look is sort of mainly through the torso there, not so much. Oh, portions of the figure. It depends on the light. I think it's all there. It just depends what sort of light's hitting it. But it does appear to be more pronounced sort of through the torso. But it's still. Still nice, you know, the way it catches the different lights sort of sends off a lot of different, a lot of different color looks of that red, but it's really nice. Um, again, yeah, comes with a couple of thwippy hands, which is cool. And the one I really, I think I really like about this is that it really does go well with the, uh, the modular Iron Man that has been out recently. A you know, little bit different in terms of the reds, but the red and gold together, you know, these two these two look fantastic together, which is really, really cool. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty pretty chuffed about this Spider-Man. He's got all the articulation you want. Really nicely sculpted. Especially the, uh, the gold spider there on the chest. It's all, um, it's not, not embossed, but you know what I mean? It's, um, it's all sort of sculpted, so it's all that sort of shape. It's not just painted on. Same with the uh, sort of the gold plates on the shoulders there. They're not painted on. They're not just painted on. They're um, actually sculpted. The sort of gauntlets on the arms and feet gauntlets. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure what the word is, but yeah. Otherwise, it's pretty nice. I'm not sure whether this whole contraption on the back is removable. It appears to be glued on, so. But that's fine, you know, don't really plan on taking it off anyway. You can probably pop these out. I'm not gonna do it on camera, where am I? Yes, I am. So you can just sort of pop these out. Um, you know, they're a nice, snug, tight fit. But I guess like most things over time, you, you play with it too much, it will uh, loosen up and you sort of 
won't have that sort of dynamic sort of posability as that sort of loosens off and flops around a little bit more. The head sculpt's nice as well. It looks really good. Zoom in a little bit more. But yeah, I wasn't sure I'd like this one as much as I do. I'm really, really, really impressed with it. But yeah, thanks to all the <laughs> toy photographers out there that made me buy it. But uh, I'm glad. I'm glad I did because it's yeah, it, it's a really nice, really nice Spider-Man. Um, you know, I'm not sort of still definitely in my infancy in terms of you know collecting Marvel Legends and stuff like that. But um, you know, I've got a few different variations of Spidey now, which is cool. I'm liking it. I'm having fun. But yeah, I'd love to. Be able to get this guy in in the poses to be able to make him sort of stand up on his own. You know what? While I'm talking, I'm just going to try and do it myself. So I'm not sure. You know, it's a little bit tricky off camera sort of thing, but um, yeah, I'll give it a shot. But no, nah, I won't. I'll, I'll save it when I got a little bit more space. There isn't a camera sort of sitting in front of me here. Um, but yeah, I believe it can be done. I've seen pictures of it being done. I don't think they're altered or photoshopped or anything like that. So I have absolute faith that it can be done. So I will try it. Anyway, folks, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. You know, it's another good Spider-Man without the, you know, the pinless tech, the pinless technology in the, uh, in the arms and the knees. It's really nice to see figures coming out without those pin joints. Um, it's just a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, isn't it? But yeah, thank you very much for watching. To appreciate your time. And uh, see you on the next one.